Morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Marcus Conti. I got a really big show, really big show for you today. Really big show. So, election fraud, the shenanigans down in Florida still going on. Un, un, um, uninterrupted election fraud going on in Florida. So I want to, uh, I, I'm going to be very, I want to be very, um, you know, because we have to be nice and we can't hurt anybody's feelings and because people get their feelings hurt and they get their balls all wrapped up in a knot or they get sand in their vagina, you know. And so I'm going to be, I'm going to try to be gentle and, you know, look, I do this all day long. I follow this kind of stuff all day long. So I, I, te- I uh, unfortunately for you, I know more about this stuff than you do. But I, I want to. Uh, I just, I'm going to read a bunch of stuff. This election fraud is uh, heating up, and uh, I'm going to read in some new evidence uh, into the record. There's this uh, this uh, election worker who observed election fraud, straight up observed it, and uh, and uh, gave a sworn affidavit. So I'm going to read that in. I want to play a couple of clips from. Uh, Tim Canova, uh, his uh, investigation into the election fraud down in in uh, Florida, but uh, I just want to say that I'm I am uh, I'm what you call a nonpartisan. See, I got a Bernie, I got some Bernie shit up there, I got a fucking Trump hat, I got fucking Obama, got Hillary the witch. Everybody's included, man. I'm no partisan. I I love everybody equally, and I hate everybody equally. That's just a fucking disclaimer, all right? I got my Jimmy Dore shirt on, man. Fucking Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore's not giving me much love, but I love him, man. Fucking guy loves me, man. I love him. Jimmy Dore, man. Fucking screaming into his own head. That's what we do sometimes, you know, screaming into our own heads. So, all right. First, first note of business, right? There are two types of ele- There are two types of ways to rig an election in the United States, right? There's there's what's called election fraud. Get your get your terms correct people and I'm, I'm addressing this to this is mostly addressed with it with a feather a touch to the trump people who think that uh voter fraud is the big problem now what's the difference election fraud voter fraud you know the, the, they like to play the game of of uh what is it election fraud voter fraud right? it's fucking it's mostly mostly election fraud election fraud is when the establishment rips you off where they stuff ballots, they throw ballots in the garbage, they don't count certain ballots, they purge people off the rolls, they illegally gerrymander people into certain categories, and all illegal, quote, quote legal shit, it, uh, uh, it falls into the category of election fraud, purging hundreds, thousands of votes right here in Brooklyn, or, you know, not counting two million uh, v- votes in California, two thousand sixteen primary, right? That's election fraud. That is when the establishment is fucking you, right? Now the other tar- the other side of it is what is voter fraud. That's what everybody gets all oh, if this voter fraud, the fucking they're, they're trucking in the Mexicans and the, and there's illegals jumping over the wall and 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 voting and then jumping back over the wall. Oh, it's you. St- Stupid asses. That's not what's going on. I. Right? That's not what's going on. It's a fra- That's a fraction. When an illegal votes, when an illegal person votes in America, that's not swinging the election. I'm sorry. The, the the real election fraud. Election fraud. So when you see the media using voter fraud, that's that's a smokescreen. That's a that's a that's a flag right there. That's a smokescreen to convince you that there's, that uh, it's 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 always them. It's never it's never us. No, we us. We who I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, it's them. See, it's the it's the it's the Mexicans and it's the the Nicaraguans and the Hondurians and they're fucking stamp they're stampeding to the wall and we got to build the wall. No, it's they're stealing it from you. Okay, so I'm going to show you why. So. Um, so there's a video floating around. You, please listen to my my interview with Tim Canova. Now, Tim Canova, who is Tim Canova? Tim Canova is an independent running against Debbie Wasserman Schultz in Florida 23. Now, it's 23 seats down in Florida, so he gets he his story is getting stuffed into the background, right? But he was he's a a, a, a central player in this scenario because he's the only one speaking up. He's the only honest broker in the whole fucking fucking pack of animals right so 
re- listen to my interview with Tim Canova. I, I got him on the phone. He's my brother from another mother down in Florida, right? I got him on the phone, and he explains to us exactly what's going on. He's a, a, a law professor, right? If, nobody, if he doesn't know, nobody knows, right? So, and he sued the people down in Florida, the cesspool that we call democracy in Florida. He sued, he sued the, the, uh, the, what's her name? I'm going to give you a name. I'll show you who she is. I don't fucking know who she is. So this is Brenda Snipes. Ah, the lovely Brenda Snipes. Is she Wesley Snipes' mother, sister, brother? I don't know. But that's Wes, that's Wesley Snipes. That's Brenda Snipes. And that is her position. She is Dr. Brenda Snipes. Boward County Supervisor Elections. Okay, so this, my friends, is the is the is the target. You want to dance? Let's dance. Want to dance? Let's dance. You want to dance? Let's dance. So Brenda Snipes is the problem here. Okay, and I'm going to read you uh, and and uh, the good Governor Rick Scott. Of course, oh, we love Rick Scott. He's a Republican, right? He's a Republican, and he's out for the best interest of the people, right? Is he? Okay. We're going to find out about that. So, so is this? So let me let me give you a background. On what's going on down there? Right. So, so fucking there's a big battle right now between Bill Nelson and Rick Scott. It's about one percent of the vote, <laughs> the quote vote, right? Uh, that separates the two for the Senate run. Now, Rick Scott, who's Rick Scott? Rick Scott's the governor, right? And he's running to switch over to the Senate, right? It's fucking confusing, right? I had to look it up. I didn't even know who was running for what. But Bill Nelson versus Rick Scott for Senate, right? And that's that's a heated battle right there. And remember, Rick Scott, we're going to show you who Rick Scott is and the power that Rick Scott had to change this and did nothing. Did fucking nothing. So DeSantis versus Gilliam for governor. I, I believe, believe DeSantis won or was giving it to it. But the big one is is Canova versus uh, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Now, there's 23, 27 seats uh, in Florida for the House, and Canova versus Schultz was only one of them. But the, the way that they they screwed uh, Tim Canova over, they screwed Tim Canova over, <laughs> is the big is the big tell because Wasserman Schultz. She's a, she, these are these are snakes in the grass, right? In Tim's own words, right? They lie, steal, and cheat. They steal elections. They are serial riggers. Ah, right. So that's Tim Canova. Now, it's Tim Canova. And then I'm going to read you the 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 statement from the girl because it's not that unusual, right? It's it's not even new. But listen, watch this. Let's watch. Let's go video. Oh, I'm not a security guard. I'm a security monitor. I only notify people if there's That's a robbery. It's Tim Canova. There's a robbery. Hi, I'm Tim Canova, a law professor at Nova Southeastern University. And I'm here to tell you there's been a robbery here in Broward County. The supervisor of elections, Brenda Snipes, stole all of the ballots and perhaps our entire election in our 2016 primary against Debbie Wasserman Schultz. That's not just my opinion. Brenda Snipes admitted under oath in videotape depositions to destroying all of our ballots when we sought to inspect them. The Florida Circuit Court ruled against Brenda Snipes and found that she had broken multiple state and federal laws, destroyed evidence in an ongoing lawsuit, and lied about it for months. These are not small crimes. These are felonies punishable by up to five years in prison. And all Governor Rick Scott can do is appoint yet another monitor. This isn't the first time that Governor Scott has appointed election monitors to look over Brenda Snipes' shoulder. The past election monitors all failed to prevent these crimes. In fact, they even failed to detect these crimes. It took my lawsuit to uncover this wrongdoing. Oh, I'm not a security guard. I'm a security monitor. I only notify people if there's a robbery. There's a robbery. Some law and order governor we have, and now he wants to be a U.S. senator after failing to perform his most important duties as governor. You know, it shouldn't have taken a lawsuit by me, a private citizen, to uncover this corruption in the Broward Supervisor of Elections office. 
I was forced out of the Democratic Party for fighting this corruption. But those ballots that were destroyed, they weren't my ballots. They were your ballots. So many fellow citizens have lost faith and confidence in the integrity of elections in Broward County. That trust will not be restored by sweeping criminal activity under the rug. Please sign our petition calling on Governor Rick Scott to suspend and replace Brenda Snipes immediately and calling on the U.S. Attorney Benjamin Greenberg to investigate and prosecute this illegal rigging and ballot destruction. Urge them to do their jobs, to do something, but not another monitor. I'm Tim Canova, and I approve this message because integrity matters. Pow. Okay. So that's, so that's my brother from another mother fighting Debbie Wasserman Schultz down in Florida for the 2016 election, right? When he challenged in court, what happened? He challenged and he challenged a recount and he found out that Brenda Snipes, under the direction of Brenda Snipes, they destroyed the paper ballots so there couldn't be a recount. They cheated and then they destroyed the evidence, right? And he proved it. He won his case through summary judgment which means that the, the, the judges didn't even call a single witness. They just ruled right from the bench and ruled in his favor that the ballots were, in fact, uh, uh, destroyed, right? Now, those are, that's a felony, right? That's felony tampering with, with, with an election, right? And Rick Scott at the time is the governor, and there's no consequence. No consequence, Rick, right? So... But, but we're supposed to, oh, a Republican, he's a Republican. We're fighting for Rick, Rick Scott. Rick Scott's a scumbag. Rick Scott knew about the felony election rigging, but he didn't do anything about it. See, that's the problem with partisan. You guys are arguing right, left, left, right. You know, it's, it's corruption versus, it's good versus evil. And it's corruption versus, versus honest. Right, and you guys are like, oh fucking Tim Canova, oh fuck, he's a Bernie bro, a fucking guy, Tim Canova, fuck him. See, th- th- when it's a, to our advantage, right, it's not okay to throw people under the bus like that because oh oh, there's there's election fraud going on, but it benefits me. There's Rick Scott. Oh, there's election fraud going on. I don't know what fucking it was. It's benefiting me. I don't know nothing. Now there's election fraud going on. Fucking let's let's sue everybody and throw everybody in jail, right? That's Rick Scott. That's who Rick Scott is, right? He had he was the governor, the number one fucking guy in Florida, and he didn't do anything about it when it was presented to him on a silver platter. So let's look at. So those are the those are the major races, and then I wanted to I want to read this this um, <clears throat> this girl's testimony, right? So you got um, oh the other thing is that uh, here's the, another tell, right? <clears throat> Tim Canova versus Debbie Wasserman Schultz in in Florida twenty three. Tim Canova arguably won in 2016. And when they counted the votes this time in 2018 for the same seat, Wasserman Schultz had 58% of the vote as opposed to Tim Canova's 5% of the vote. That's humiliation. They're trying to humiliate the guy and not even get his name. You know, he's more of a threat than, than, than fucking Rick Scott or the other Jaguars, right? So Bill Nelson versus Rick Scott for Senate. There's the Santos Gilliam and Canova uh, Schultz. So those are the big ones. All right. So, so let's talk about this. Um, I'm going to try to read this thing in without being without it being too painful for you guys. But this is the this is the actual uh, court deposition from a worker. I'm going to read it and it'll it'll make sense. Just give me one second so you guys can see this shit. I think if I do that, you'll be able to at least see this clearly. All right. So signed and sealed. Right. It's a two-page, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to do that to you. So it's a two, two-pager, two right, and I'm going to try to, I'm going to read this shit in, and I'll tell you who, what's going on, right? Come on. So, again, so this is a, this is a work, affidavit of Chelsea Marie Smith. This is, this is good, it's going to be a, a, be a minute, I'm going to read the whole two pages, <clears throat> so that you can hear the whole story, the unadulterated story. My name is Chelsea Marie Smith. I am over 18. I am of sound mind and I have personal knowledge of the facts contained in this affidavit. I was employed 
through a temporary employment agency, K-Force, and was working full-time at the Broward County Supervisor of Elections office, main office in Lauder Hill, Florida. My duties included clerical work as well as delivering various items as necessary throughout the, throughout the office. My regular hours were from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., depending on the need. As an employee, I regularly clocked in and out of work as required. As part of my regular duties, I frequently handed, handled absentee ballots, including time-stamped registered new voter residencies and sorted delivery ballots to various sections of the blah, blah, blah. One of my supervisors, Dossel Spencer, had received, various ball- had received the various ballots with me as part of my training. As such, I am very familiar with the appearance of those ballots. On, on uh, 10.31.16, at about 6 p.m., I was instructed by Supervisor uh, Charlotte Smith Charlotte Shipman Smith to carry a stack of absentee ballots, ballot request forms to another room in the building, which they referred to as Pitney Bowes Room. I had never previously been asked to go to that room. When I got to Pitney Room, I found that the entrance door was locked and required a security number to gain entrance. I was never provided with the security number, so I could not enter on my own. The door door has a, a long, thin window, which was uncovered. Although I knocked several times, the people inside were too busy to notice. Through the door window, I could clearly see four SOE employees sitting at a table with stacks of documents and writing something. Eventually, one of the employees opened the door, took the ballots from me, and closed the door. I was not let in the room, and, employee, and the employee seemed very rushed. From the door window, I was unable to determine what documents were on the table. I then, hold on a second. I then, I then, where am I? Oh, I then returned to my regular place of work. I was then asked to deliver another stack of absentee ballots request forms to the same room. Once again, the employees initially ignored my knocking. I looked through the door window and could clearly see four SEO employees sitting at the table. Each person had a stack of documents next to them on one side, another stack of documents on the other, and they were all writing something on each document. Eventually, an employee opened the door for me and in a very hurried pace allowed me in the room and told me to place my ballots on a different table. Once in the room, I could see the four SOE employees sitting at the table actively filling out election ballots. Each had a stack of blank ballots to the right of them, about an inch high, and a stack of completed ballots to their left. There were perhaps a dozen in each completed stack. I could see the bubbles on the right stack that had not been filled in, while the bubbles on the left stack had been blacked in. I could also see the employees filling in the bubbles as they moved the ballots from right to left. I witnessed this activity for over a minute. Can't make it up. I could see that SOE employees were using the same black pens, which white body with a black cap, that the SOE supplies to voters at the polling sites. I was then told to leave the room by one of the employees at the table. I completed other duties in another section of the building and left about 30 minutes later. When I arrived home, I told my mother, Michelle Castellanos, what I had seen. I was initially frightened to report this activity to anyone at SOE for fear of retaliation. The following day, I reported for work at at the same office at 9 a.m., performed my regular duties, and took my lunch break at the regular time. When I returned from lunch at 12.30, I was met by a uniformed security guard at SOE entrance and told that I had been terminated and was forced to immediately turn over my SOE credentials. I was warned that I was no longer welcome in the SOE building and that I should never return. I was given no explanation for this action. I was, I was able to determine 
the identity of one of the SOE employees using the Facebook site for SOE office. The employee was Mary Hall. I recognized Hall from a group picture of SOE employees, which is posted on the SOE Facebook page. I had also been seen photographs of Mary Hall with her name on the walls in the SOE building. Finally, Mary Hall's Facebook page lists her employment with SOE office. Thus far, I can say I saw Mary Hall, an SOE employee, sitting at the table in the Pitney Bowes room, actively completing ballots with an SOE pen and placing them in a stack. Mary Hall was also the employee who told me to leave the room. I am executing this affidavit freely and voluntarily. I have not been pressured or enticed in any manner to provide this testimony. I am willing to fully cooperate with law enforcement in the investigation and prosecution of this matter. Right. And that was signed back in um, uh, the 3rd of November, 2016. Right. Okay, so, so what do we have here? What do we have here? I thought I thought there's no. I thought it's uh, I thought it's voter fraud. I thought it's the Mexicans rigging the election. Okay. You got the you got the, the 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 supervisor of elections supervising election fraud. That's what it is, right? And and this was presented to Scott back in 2016. He didn't do anything about it. Right? You got Tim Canova screaming from the rooftops that there's election fraud. There's now a video floating around where they actually see the the ballots being stacked in a truck out the back door after 7 p.m. the night of the election on 2018. Where's the outrage? Fucking Rick Scott, where's the outrage? Right? Where's the outrage? So, so you make up your own mind. Is it is it election fraud? Is it is it election is it uh, voter fraud? Do you think that in this country it's vote Trump people? You think it's voter fraud? You still think it's voter fraud? You still think it's the Mexicans stealing your democracy, or is it is it the 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 people that are placed in positions of power rigging the election? And why would they do it? Why do they do it? Why does a guy like Rick Scott rig an election? Or no no of an, uh, uh, By the way, Brenda Scott Snipes felony found to have committed felonies. There was no charges. Not only that, she kept her job for the next election. Right, come on, come on. If that was you, me, or the guy next door, we'd be fucking handcuffed for 10 years. But because Rick Scott gave her cover, because he thought he was going to win the, did he think he was going to win the Senate uh, run? And then, I don't know, according to Tim Canova, if you listen to his recording, it's, he's fucking good. Fucking Tim Canova tells you everything. More than, why are you listening to me? Go listen to Tim Canova. Link's down below. My conversation with Tim Canova, right? He's telling you that that Scott thought that Snipes, by letting Snipes go, Scott was going to get a, a, you know, pushed right into the uh, into the Senate position. And it turns out that they were trying to throw him under the bus too, right? They're trying to fuck him over, right? And um, and Wasserman Schultz always is always in the mix. Is always in the mix. She's always somewhere close by to to, to hatch it. You know, to, to throw the final hatchet in, the, you know, on someone's back. So, um, what else do I want to say about that? Well, that's 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 a lot. That's a lot right there. So, you know, election fraud versus um, that is the that is the the theme here. It's election fraud, which is which is, you know, is is buck wild in this country right now, rigging machines. And it's as you see, it's not a partisan issue right so when you want to scream to the to the on the rooftops and i know you guys are going to do it fucking liberals you motherfucking liberal fucking liberals stealing fucking election you see what they did in fucking florida right that's what you guys are going to do right this is some people will right and then you're going to have the you're going to have the uh the progressives taking the high ground oh yes uh fucking of course you know uh, look you know it's rick scott he's a republican of course these guys cheat right and then you have the you have the republicans attacking the the, the lunatic left you know so it's not it's it's not a partisan issue they all take money from the same people understand that understand what's going on it's 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 monopoly right it's corporations that fuel this mess Right. That's why I, I'm, I've been screaming from the rooftops that you have to depowerize 
the the corporations right that's the that's the root of the problem that's the head of the snake which is the corporations that fund these people because there's no more there's no more restraints of money and politics people like debbie wasserman schultz are bought paid for they're they're stooges right all right and why does the oligarchy do, our oligarchy do it why do these corporations do it because they want favors right once they get their people in place they present them with a favor it's all quid pro quo that's what's going on here right so let's not get too happy about you know mr scott and you know, oh, he's gonna fucking, he's gotta win because they're fucking Republican guy. Look, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm telling you. He had the opportunity. If nobody else in this scenario had the opportunity to fix the fraud, if anybody had that opportunity, it was Rick Scott, and he didn't do anything about it. And Tim Canova was screaming from the rooftops the whole time to to do something about it, and he didn't do anything about it. So that's um, my name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.